Okay, this is just kind of a look at uh, the different positions of all the parts, and we're going to concentrate here on this part up above, that big sheet metal piece, which is called the draft hood. Okay, a little closer look at the uh, draft hood or draft diverter. This is just a big slot in here, and it goes straight up, and it goes out the top, it actually goes right out the top. That's the vent right there. So, uh, what it's doing, the, the burner tubes are back. Okay, the burner tubes, they come out right here. And they pass up and out that way. So there's a open space between where the vent would be up on top, like right there, and the hot gases from the burn. So the reason this draft hood is placed in here is to isolate the flame from any possible draft problems with the venting. Okay, when the furnace is running, this, to test this draft hood, you should run a flame around it. Just so happen to got a little flame here, if I can get the light, there we go. When that comes on, now that should pull in at all places around the draft hood. Now you notice when I get right here, it goes out. And it's blowing out right there too. This is not drafting properly. It should always pull in. You don't really need a flame to figure this out. If you put your hand here and hot air is coming out of here, it's not working right should it? because it should be going out the vent. Now the reason the draft hood is there is actually is pretty simple. These are natural draft appliances. They do not use any mechanical means to get the gases out the chimney. So this vent on top up here, this has got to take the gases up. And the high temperature of the gases is what's pulling them up. Now, if we did not have something like this draft hood, then if I had a problem in the vent up above here, if I had a problem going out the chimney where it blocked off or it pulled too strong, then the flame down here would roll out the front because I got pressure. Let's say I had a blocked vent. Well, because it couldn't go out there, the flame would just roll out the front. If I had a wind condition where I had air moving across the vent and it drew more air out than normally or more gases out than normally it would lift the uh, flame off the burners so the end result of this is any kind of change in pressure in the vent would affect the flame now remember these flames work on very very small pressures uh, negative pressure in a vent will be probably about two uh, one-hundredths of an inch water column. Very, very small. Uh, any changes in that pressure is going to affect the flame. We put this draft hood here so that that does not happen. Now I'm going to demonstrate something to you to kind of show you what happens if you had a block vent. Okay, now here's my vent. I don't have any real vent on this thing right now. But let's say I block it off. Now I'm just covering it up completely. What's going to happen is all the hot gases that are coming up from the fire are going to dump out here. Now. If I look at the flame, the flame looks fine. Now I'm going to take that block off of there. 
and you can see it made no difference at all in the flame. Put more time on and off. That's what the draft hood is for. Otherwise, you'd have flame rollouts every time you had a wind condition. Uh, these furnaces would not work unless they had some control like this draft hood assembly. So, they're very important for the operation. I don't want to give you the idea that I can run a furnace with a block of wood on the vent and it'll work fine. This thing is pouring hot gases out of here right now. Now eventually what's going to happen is these hot gases coming out of here are going to end up in the burner and when they end up in the burner the burners won't have enough oxygen and the flames will lift off. So if this, if this was in a small room that uh, blockage would affect it. So if you had a permanently blocked vent the draft hood is going to spill into the structure. If you have a temporarily block from wind conditions or something like that, then it will protect the flame from rolling out or lifting off. Now, if this is in an enclosed space where it's going to recycle that burn gas into the uh, burners, what the burners are going to do is they're going to start lifting off and what they'll uh, do is take it put the pilot out and the pilot's going to shut down now that may be a while before that happens and uh, you could have a fire and it is cr producing carbon monoxide the whole time it's doing this so uh, you do want your vent to be clear 